Welcome to Asset Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Stillmaster Industrial H330HA fully automatic NC twin column bandsaw. So uh, our 330HA will take a 330 diameter and as I said it's twin column so it's fantastic for uh, production cutting of your stock material and also bundles as well. Uh, being an NC programmable controller just, uh, just over there as well, everything's We've got the Siemens touchscreen uh, program controller, so you can run that in hand mode or automatic mode. Uh, as we said, just over here too, we've got the gas strut opening safety interlock guard there as well. So this is this is the new uh, Euro model that we brought to the market. It's got all the um, you know, mod con, the smarts, and everything else that you need in today's uh, tough industrial sector. So being a twin column uh, bandsaw, as I sort of said, we've got key features on these like. Swarf conveyors down here. So the swarf con uh, conveyor will take your uh, your chips and get uh, your swarf and feed that through to the bucket just over here. Little things like this, like a little uh, hose gun as well, so you can actually wash down your uh, your bandsaw after use. We've got tungsten blade guides just up here, adjustable guides, and uh, coming around the back of the machine here as well. Obviously, we've got the simple little things like the uh, oil gauges and the swarf uh, conveyor will run through to the the tray uh, over here, but look at the general build quality of our 330HA uh, programmable bandsaw itself. So we've got uh, everything's big, strong and industrial and we've got side guides here as well so when you're uh, using different materials you can obviously bring those guides in. We've got side rollers, uh, these all come standard with the machine as well, so we've got inch feed roller tables. We also have a lot of aftermarket um, heavy duty rollers but Look at the attention to detail here. We've even got the you know, the brush uh, system there as well that protects your guides. Uh, over the back there, we've got a bundle clamp. Now that actually comes with the machine as well in standard. We're trying to feature pack all of our machines up with all the features that you know, the the day to day industrial operator will need. So that's just the parking station uh, for the bundle clamp itself. So when you go to use your bundle clamp, simply put that on board and away you go. So I'll hand you over to Kaylin, that'll uh, talk you through the actual control itself and um, we'll go from there. So as Dave mentioned, um, you do have access to manual and automatic controls on this thing. So you can basically do your cutting however you like. Um, automatic's obviously a lot easier. If you're doing a lot of repetitive actions, uh, manual cutting obviously if it's just something you need to quickly cut, but very straightforward to do. So what we've got access to here, We've got access to all, all accesses that we've got. We've got our um, sawing up and down. Um, we've got both our front and rear vices, locking and unlocking. We've got our feed and also access to our coolant pump and just obviously a work light for visibility. And then most importantly up the top, we've got our feed rate control. Um, starting the pump, basically just this little left-hand button here. That is on a little timer, so about 15 minutes of no action that will cut out. And you can basically just turn it back on to restart. Now what I'll do is I'll run you through the manual side of things first. So basically what we've got, we've got a little screen dedicated to manual controls. So you can do everything that you can do in auto in the manual side here. Um, now these buttons are exactly the same as these, so you can use either either, depending on what you want to do. Um, if you want to do automatic, Basically what we've got here, um, we've got a couple of different columns you want to walk, walk your way through uh, to set up your program. It's very straightforward, obviously just one to four. We're starting with number one, sawing and setting. We can set our blade speed. Once we've set our blade speed, we can go to the next step. Uh, here we can set up uh, a constant speed. Now a constant speed is where you set the feed rate with your controls here. Variable speed on the other hand, uh, is basically it will maintain a constant uh, a variable speed uh, as it cuts through different materials and it will try and maintain a, a relatively even force the whole way through which is really good for maintaining your blade life. So setting up the variable speed, which is what we'll do, you can choose a profile that you're cutting. Uh, for example, we'll say just the solid uh, round pipe, which we've already done. Uh, we go to our next step, we can set the sawing force that we want to use. Now this is something that you will uh, come to learn. Um, generally you do a test cut to find your sawing force and then you'll set it up in here and you can go from there. So I'll just leave it on three, we'll go to OK. So that's the sawing side set up. We want to just origin the machine after that. What that's going to do is it's going to pre-position each axis to its home position. 
As you can see, that's turned green, indicates it's in the origin position and it's ready to start. Lastly, we'll go to our data setting. We've got access to the lengths and uh, the quantities that we want to cut. So we've basically got the length that we're going to cut, the quantity of that piece that we're going to cut, and a total quantity that will get filled when you cut it. Okay, now I've only got two of those uh, rows ticked, so we're only cutting two different pieces, but four pieces total. We can return then to our home screen, and finally all we have to do is hit our auto start. Now you've got access, it does tell you what each axis is doing, what you're cutting, what length, etc. Um, there is a material sensor in the rear vise, so if you don't have material in there, which is actually what's come up at the moment, no material detected, I know it's probably really hard to see, it will stop the process, which is very useful. So, i just turn that off real quickly, and re-origin the machine. Okay, so it's gone green. Auto start. That's going to ignore the rear vice. There's nothing in there at the moment, or not on the sensor at least. Now this is in constant speed at the moment. So once it lifts up my material sensor here, it will proceed into its variable speed until it's obviously chopped through. So we'll just cycle it through. You can see what it's going to do. Obviously hard to see because it's quite slow at the moment, but uh, you get the general idea. I don't think we're going to wait for all day for that. No, so anyway, there's our 330HA Steel Master Twin Column NC Programmable Bandsaw. You find more details and technical data online at assetplant.com.au. Thanks and have a great day.